Hey you guys, it's Kyra and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am so excited because I am giving the new Fenty Beauty by Rihanna makeup line a try. Now if you guys watch this, then you guys know that Rihanna did release a new makeup collection. It's called Fenty Beauty by Rihanna and it actually launched at midnight, um, I guess midnight Friday morning. I actually was going to just hold out on it um, because you guys know, well you guys may not know, but I'm a really big um, wait to come to the store so I can actually touch and feel it and see it kind of person. But I actually had no idea that it was launching online and in stores on the same day. I just knew it was gonna like launch online and then like, you know, take a couple weeks to launch in stores. But no, it launched in stores and I called them my Sephora. I was like, hey, are you guys releasing the Fenty Beauty line? And they were like, yeah, you know, it's releasing at 10 a.m. So I like ran over to my Sephora and picked up everything I could find. So now I'm about to test out all of my goodies. First I'm gonna show you guys what I purchased. The first thing I purchased is the Soft Matte Primer. Um, of course, it's a face primer that goes with the foundation, so I did get the primer and the foundation. The primer comes in only one shade, it's just Soft Matte. It's the Soft Matte Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Now, my thing is that if Rihanna is using this and it's, you know, it's supposed to be pro filter, retouch, like airbrush kind of skin, I want to see if this kind of lives up to that because y'all know I'm all for like a really nice smooth base. So I got this and I also got the foundation. Now, one reason why I was so like excited to try out this line is because First of all, I'm not honestly, I'm honestly not a huge Rihanna fan. I used to be like years ago, like I used to be an old Rihanna fan. Now today, not so much. Um, but when I saw that she was releasing 40 shades, you guys, 40. Riri was not playing, okay? Riri said, I'm going to include foundation for everybody. And she did just that. And to me, like that just spoke volume. So I feel like I had to go buy it. Of course, she's a black woman. I, I I had to go buy it um, and just support, you know, someone who like acknowledges us. And by us, I mean women of color. I just appreciate like Riwi's like inclusion from the beginning. Okay, so I went ahead and purchased the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Now, this foundation is supposed to give you a soft matte finish. Um, it says it's medium to full coverage for all. It's long wear, light as air. So we will see how that goes. But I can tell you guys, I just watched this on my hand in Sephora and I was like blown away by the coverage. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and test it out all over. I did supply a little bit here when I was in the store, but coverage, I think this may be like so bomb, y'all. I also got the lip gloss. She only has one lip gloss in the collection and it's called uh, Fenty Glow, the Glossy Balm Fenty Glow. And it's such a really pretty rosy pink shade. It does have a little bit of silver metallic pieces in it, um, but it's such a pretty universal shade. In her campaign ad, she had all the models wearing this one shade and it was so pretty and I love glosses. So I can't wait to try this out. Um, I also got the Universal Pro, what's it called? The Universal Invisimat Blotting Powder. Now this is supposed to be a blotting powder on the go, so just whenever you get oily, it comes with the powder and a little, you know, pad. So basically you kind of touch up anywhere that you get oily. Now you guys know that I am an oily girl, so I was like, I have to get this because I feel like this would just come in such handy. And also, I feel like because it is invisible, and I've heard that this powder is really invisible. We'll test it out today just to make sure, but I've heard this powder is completely invisible and it is flashback free. Um, but I feel like this would go really well with the foundation because I am oily. Um, I do know that I can't not set my foundation with the powder. Um, but I feel like setting it with the Invisa, the Invisa matte powder will work out perfectly. Um, you know, so we'll see how this works. But I'm excited about this. I also got one of the trio sticks. Now, I purchased a trio stick in the shade tan, I believe. Yeah, the shade tan 300. So basically what it is, is it's the matchstick trios. Now Rihanna has the matchstick sold individually where you can, you know, if you just want a highlight shade, you can go get it individually. If you just want a contour shade, you can get it individually. And same thing with the cream powder. Um, but she also, I believe those are $25 each. And then she also is selling the trio stick for 54. And I was like, that's a no brainer. So I just went ahead and got this. I got it in the shade tan. And in the shade tan comes the highlight stick in caramel. 
and here's how much product you get so quite a bunch of product y'all that's a lot you get quite a bit of product in these contour and highlight sticks so i got this is the shade caramel okay i also first of all y'all the packaging isn't this so pretty it's so pretty i love this shade and i love just i love how simple her logo is like i just love how simple that is so so pretty so that was the shade caramel this is the shade truffle which of course is for contouring again a lot of product so that should be perfect for me on contouring and then oh and then also these you guys are actually magnetic so you can just really easily carry these around and connect them together and then the last shade is the shade rum now this is a gorgeous golden highlight shade it is cream so i'm gonna i'm interested to see how, how this applies i've actually never worked with a cream hotter before but i'm gonna go ahead and try this one out but again a lot of product and it, it is so pretty y'all like so pretty that is that and then the last product is actually something i did not purchase at first but like social media made me go back and buy it and that is the kilowatt freestyle highlighter in the shade trophy white now this product here if i can open it up <laughs> okay this bad boy here has been like the talk of youtube of social media of everywhere okay um it's like i said it's a kilowatt highlighter in trophy white and as you can see it's a really bold highlighter that's why i didn't pick it up at first because when i saw it i was like i don't know if i'm gonna actually really wear this because it's really yellow um it's like really to me it's like a true yellow gold um and i didn't think it was going to be very black you know woman color friendly like when i saw i i will admit when i saw it i was a bit intimidated by it but then i got home and i was watching swatches and watching people on youtube and i saw uh, a couple people on snapchat applying it and i was like oh that's so pretty on her so i went back yesterday sephora and picked it up because i was like okay I have to at least give it a chance you know so uh, we will see how this goes this shade it's so pretty I just to me like when I look at it I think more of an eyeshadow as opposed to you know a hider but it looks like everyone else so we'll see how it goes there are a ton of other things one thing I love about the collection just kind of first offhand is that she didn't um, include she kind of started off I'm gonna say she started off small but she started off with the basics you know, you have foundation, you have a lip gloss, a lip gloss, not a whole plethora. You know, you got your foundation, you got lip gloss, you got hiding, contouring, you got all the basics kind of set down, which is perfect because from there she can go ahead and expand if she ever wants to. Enough with what I bought and, you know, initial thoughts. Let's go ahead and get into the actual application. So as you guys can see, my brows are already done. Of course, I didn't use Rihanna products because she doesn't have any brow products yet. Um... But I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Soft Matte Primer. And I love that her foundation and primer include... Ooh, that's a bit much. Okay. So a little bit goes a long way. <laughs> I'm going to apply way too much. It's, it has a scent to you guys. It actually smells pretty pleasant. Like, it's not a bad scent at all. It's a really pleasant, soft smell. Okay, so far I'm loving the consistency of it. I, I kind of see how it sets into the skin. But I'm loving how it actually kind of feels more like a moisturizer. Like as I'm applying it, it's feeling very soft and lightweight and smooth. And it's applying more like a moisturizer. So I wonder if it's going to mattify and dry matte. We'll see. It's supposed to. I mean, it's soft matte. So I hope it's going to give a soft matte finish. As you can see, whenever you apply it first off the bat, it has that whitish tint to it. Feels so good. So I have it blended all into the skin. I'm pressing it into the cheek area so that my cheeks will soak it in a little more. Where those pores are. So primer is on. My skin feels really smooth all. It feels so good on the skin. But we'll see, you know, if it really does the job with as far as mattifying and preventing oiliness. But actually, what did it claim to do? It claimed it's a smooth, pore diffusing finish and it extends makeup wear. So I can test a test to the pore feed diffusing because I can tell you without even applying like, you know, that 
You guys know that I typically go in with my Tarte Clean Slate Primer to kind of help fill in the pores, but right now, you guys, my pores look extremely small. Like, they're still there. I won't say that they're completely blurred out, but just from my initial application, I can definitely see notice that they're, you know, smaller. And it gives a really smooth finish. So if you have textured skin, I think this would work really well. All right, so that's done. Now time for a foundation. It does say to shake well before applying. So I'm trying to shake it up. Make sure everything's all mixed together. I'm gonna take probably about two or three pumps of this. One, two, three. Okay, there you go. It's a little liquidy, you can see. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques face brush and just go ahead and distribute this across my face. I may need more than three pumps. So coverage so far is bomb. I don't think I mentioned before that I got shade 410 which to me appears to be the perfect shade. So her foundations come in cool, warm, and neutral. And this is actually, I believe it's a cool shade, which is surprising because you guys know that I have yellow undertones. So I was thinking I'd be one of the cool shades, which was, I think it was 400 maybe. But when I tried it on, it was actually too dark. So I love that she has not only different shades, but different undertone variations, just so you can find your, literally find your perfect match. Y'all, this coverage though, I, oh my gosh, look at that, like my whole chin area, where I typically have dark spots peeping through, is completely covered. And I'm loving the way it's blending out, it's blending out really easily, which is also really good. Like it's not too thick or too heavy, and it's so lightweight. Like right now, I don't like to have anything on my face. That's crazy. Oh, yes, coverage. Oh my gosh, y'all. I am loving this so far. Definitely the foundation is a must. Hands down, foundation is a must. And my pores, you guys. Oh my gosh. My pores. Holy moly. Are like completely covered. I have very, very few where you can peep see down here. Just like a few. But I feel like once I apply the blotting powder, it'll definitely be covered up. But like, just for immediate, off the bat, my pores are completely diffused. So definitely 10 out of 10 for the primer and foundation combo when it comes to filling pores. And just the coverage, y'all. Like, this coverage, though, is like amazing. I'm definitely pleased with the coverage. Um, you guys saw that I did build it up a little bit. So it's definitely medium to full coverage. It is buildable, but like right now I'm getting definitely full coverage. And it feels so lightweight. Like right now I'm trying to like move around, kind of see if I can feel it like, you know, if it feels heavy anywhere, but like it feels so lightweight. So I'm definitely loving it. So far I'm gonna go ahead and just blend it out. The beauty blender makes it press into the skin. So that's all blended in. Next step, of course, is highlighting and contouring. I'm gonna take the matchstick in the shade Caramel. And y'all, this is what I'm nervous about. I feel like I'm most nervous about this part. Okay, so far it's really smooth. So, so far, I think the color is perfect on my skin tone. <laughs> it applied really smoothly. We'll see how it blends out. But so far, I feel like that was really easy to work to you know work with. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Truffle from that same trio stick. Again, really smooth. As I mentioned before, these are sold individually, but I'm just using I just got the trio stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the contour first. Now it's not super dark on me, which I think is a good thing. I don't know, I'll have to see how it looks whenever it's all blended in. But I do love the way the caramel and the truffle complement each other. Like I feel like these were good, two good matches to put in, you know, they pair together well. So I thought that was a good a good match. Okay, blending out super easily. Like, that blended out so easy, y'all. So easy. 
I'm blending out the highlight with a beauty blender. I just want to see how, you know, how it blends out using a brush versus a beauty blender. Okay. Okay, I think that blended out really nicely, y'all. So this is really easy to blend out. I'm getting, I'm not getting full coverage from the matchsticks, but I am getting, you know, good enough coverage. Like if I had, you know, like really dark circles or something, I would definitely either want to apply more. Well, I would need to apply more and kind of layer it on there. But for me, that is like, that's, that looks really nice. Like that blended out so easily. And now I will say that this, this particular contour, I mean highlight shade here, is not a super bright highlight. So this is more of like an everyday, not only everyday, but you know, more of a subtle, subtle glow under the eyes and subtle, you know, highlight. If I wanted something really bright, um, I'll probably go back and get a brighter shade just for those days that I want to look really nice and bright. Yeah, this is definitely more of like a subtle glow and a subtle highlight. But if I want it to look a lot brighter, I could easily just go get a, you know, a brighter, a brighter stick. But I love this shade. Like, I think this shade and Truffle, Caramel and Truffle pair together, pair really nicely together. And as you can see, this is blending out so easy, y'all. Like, this is so easy. Like, right now, I'm getting a natural skin. And that, I love that. Because you guys know, Rihanna, when it comes to her makeup, she normally doesn't do a whole lot. You know, she's not a huge cake face kind of girl like she kind of keeps it real natural and I love that her line reflects her personal taste you can tell that she wants to keep it real natural which I really like and appreciate now normally here I'd go ahead and set with a translucent powder but I want to go ahead and take the universal blotting powder actually I may set with the powder under my eye just to kind of make sure that I don't get any creasing I'm going to take a little bit of the RC made powder just a little bit I'm not going really to bake too much but just make sure my powder, my under eyes is not crease or anything throughout the day. Take just a smidget of the RC May. And just set that area. Okay, so I just lightly set it. I'm not baking too much or anything. I just kind of wanted to just set my under eye only because if you guys don't know, a blotting powder is more so for oil control, not really setting. Um, and I knew that under my eyes, I just, I didn't want to have to deal with creasing or anything. So I went ahead and set just the hotted areas with the RCMA powder. But I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face with the blotting powder because I know this is for, you know, oil control. And I know that the rest of my face is where I get oily. So I'm going to take a big fluffy brush, slightly dab it in the product and then to set my face. Now the cool thing about this is because now that I've already done, or now that I've applied the cream highlight and contour, and I just set it with an invisible powder, I don't have to go in and apply, you know, a powder contour and all that. Like, this is what I'm gonna work with for the day. Like, I already have that, you know, bronziness, that contour there already naturally. So I don't have to go in with an extra powder to do that, which I think is really cool. You guys know that it is, or I mentioned earlier that it is a soft matte finish, and I'm definitely getting soft matte. Um, I definitely, it's not, I'm not dewy, definitely not dewy. Um, I am on the matte side, but I'm not super washed out and dried out. That's the skin for now. Very, very natural, nice natural finish. Uh, okay, now I have to go ahead and use rum matchstick, the gloss, and the high. I'm gonna just take rum, my finger, okay? It's giving us a very nice subtle glow. This is definitely a nice natural sun kissed. Ooh, yeah, that's so pretty. That's like really nice and natural. You guys see that? That's really pretty. And I'm liking, you know, the finger method. Yeah, that's so pretty. So, do you see guys can kind of get an idea? This is rum on its own. So, as you can see, rum is a very, very pretty, subtle glow. Okay, and then for the star of the show, which everyone has been raving about, oh my gosh, y'all, Trophy Wife. I'm gonna take a fan brush, lightly dab in there. 
Okay. 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 Now I can see why everyone's hyping about this. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad I got it. Y'all, this is so law. Y'all, y'all, y'all. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yo. That highlight though, I can see why it's called Kilowatt because it's like blinding, yo. It's like completely, I love it. <laughs> I do, I can't lie. You guys know I love to glow. And I'm actually surprised at how much I love the shade. I, like I said, from the pan, I was a bit hesitant, but like on the skin, it's such a pretty golden color. Like this is just a light dab. Isn't, <sighs> yo, <laughs> okay. Do my nose. Okay, I am really shining bright. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit in the, my inner corner. And this can definitely be used as a eyeshadow. I'm gonna set my brows. This is not Rihanna. You guys know I always use this. Alrighty, so last thing is our lips. I'm gonna take a lip liner. I didn't wanna just apply the lip gloss just straight by itself. So I'm gonna take my Chestnut Lip Liner by MAC and lightly line my lips. Get our lip gloss, which is Glossy Balm. Pinchy gloss. Ooh, it smells good, y'all. Oh. It smells so good. <laughs> That's so weird. It tastes like my candy. It's like a really sweet smell. That's so pretty. And it's so glossy. Oh my gosh. I love it because it's like, it's natural, but it has like a really light pinkish hue to it or tint to it. So you get just a flush of color on the lips. And it's so glossy, y'all. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. It's an addictive shine. It says on the, on the box that it's addictive shine, nourishing wear, and universal finishing touch, which I am, I attest the nourishing wear. Yeah. Cause it feels very nice and moisturizing on the lips. It's not heavy or cakey or clumpy at all. Like it just looks really pretty. Like I am pretty impressed. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my clothes, do my hair and pop some lashes. And I will be right back to give my final thoughts of the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna line, which y'all, I love. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right guys, so as you can see, I went ahead and did my hair, threw on some earrings and changed my clothes. And here is the final look. As you can see, y'all, my skin looks so natural. Um, you could easily glam up this look with like a bold smoky eye or a cut crease or something like that. Um, for this video, I did not do that simply because I wanted to focus on just her products and like what she has. Um, so I kind of kept it pretty natural with the gloss, all that good stuff. Um, but like I said, you could easily take her skin products paired with, you know, some really bold eyeshadow palettes and you have a per the perfect, the perfect full glam look. Um, but y'all, I'm actually pretty, pretty impressed. I would say this is definitely like everyday wear. You know, if you want that no makeup makeup look, this is definitely that. It gives you all of that. Um, also, aside from, you know, pairing it with a bold eyeshadow palette, you could also um, amp up this look if you went ahead and used colored setting powder. So if you wanted to use, you know, a colored face setting powder, you know, going with the powder contour and a powder bronzer and all of that as well, you, that could also take this look up another notch. Again, Rihanna did not have any of that. She just had the universal um, blotting powder. But if you wanted to go ahead and like jazz it up and really define those features and carve out those cheekbones and that nose and all of that, you could definitely use a colored powder. Um, but like for everyday, you know, for everyday makeup, y'all, this is definitely my new like natural <laughs> natural makeup regimen right here. So I give it a nine. I give it a nine out of 10 for the collection. This, y'all, trophy wife, 
12 out of 10. Okay, like this in the foundation, I'd say if you had to get anything out of the collection, I'd say it's a tie between the Trophy White Hider and the foundation. Like these two, I think are must haves. Like you have to run Sephora and go get it. Like these two are like a hundred out of 10. Like oh, these are bomb. Um, and then also the primer as well. I don't know y'all, I just love everything. I'm gonna stop rambling. I just love everything in here. Um, nine out of 10 for me. I love it, I love it, I love it. Good job, Brianna. And I am all here for Fenty Beauty. Okay y'all, so um, that is it for this review slash demo slash first impressions. Let me know down below what you guys think. Did you guys pick up anything from the collection? If you did, what do you think? What did you think of this review? And let me know if you guys have any questions at all about anything I've mentioned in this video, um, techniques. Anything like that, let me know down below and I'll do my best to answer it for you guys. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and end this video and catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.